evaluate the following indefinite integral using a double integration by parts. So we're looking at integral e to the 2x cosine x dx. And another problem, I show how to do this without using integration by parts at all, but you need to know that the final answer has e to the 2x cosine x and e to the 2x sine x in the final answer. Then it's just a matter of figuring out the coefficients. In this case, we're just going to grind it out. So let's take a look. So I'm going to let u be equal to cosine x, dv equal to e to the 2x dx. What's going to happen? When we let u be equal to the trig functions, when I take derivatives, they're just going to bounce back and forth. The e to the 2x, as I take its antiderivative, I'm just going to get the e to the 2x back, but we'll pick up some constants as we go through. So the idea is going to be, if I call this big thing here i, the double integration by parts is going to eventually return i on the right hand side, and then we just bring it back over, and what's left over is going to be our answer up to a constant. So let's grind it out. So with these choices, our du is minus sine x dx, and our v is e to the 2x, and then when we do the u substitution, we'll have to divide by the derivative of the top, which is just going to be a 2. So integration by parts says multiply along the diagonal, then subtract the integral of what you get multiplying up. So that's going to give me a half e to the 2x cosine x, going down the diagonal, minus 1 half e to the 2x times minus sine x dx. We could pull the minus signs together to get them to disappear. I can pull the half out, and then I'm left with e to the 2x sine x dx. So let's handle that by itself, and then we'll put it back in with parentheses. Here, we just proceed as before. The trig function goes in for u. dv is e to the 2x dx. du is cosine x dx. And v is, again, a half e to the 2x. Multiply along the diagonal, sine x e to the 2x over 2. Then subtract what we get when we integrate multiplying up. So that's going to be minus. I'll pull the half out, and then I have e to the 2x cosine x dx under the integral sign. Note, as promised, I'm getting i back. My original integral, which I'm calling big I, is going to show up here. So when I substitute, we'll be able to do some algebra to get the i's together, and then that'll give me my answer. So let's take this and replace it in our line going across. So here, this is going to be a half e to the 2x cosine x. We have our plus a half, and then we're just going to stick this in. So I have my sine x e to the 2x over 2 minus 1 half i. We distribute the half. That changes to a quarter. That changes to a quarter also. Now, if you notice, I have an i on this side and a quarter i on this side. So if I bring this over to the other side, to the left side, I'm going to have 5 fourths i. I just bring down what's here into this, this line. To get rid of the 5 fourths, we multiply through by 4 fifths, leaving me with a 2 fifths and a 1 fifth. So that's my answer. OK, let's check it. So the idea is we're going to take the derivative of this, and then we'll see if we get our original integrand back. So I'm going to take whatever's in the box, take its derivative. So let's see what we get. We have our 2 fifths. Derivative of this is going to be take the derivative down, gives me a 2, and then just leave the answer as is. So I have 2 e to the 2x cosine x. Then I go to the second derivative, second function's derivative. That's going to be minus sine x. And then we just have a 2 fifths e to the 2x out in front. Going to our second product, I'm going to have 1 fifth. Derivative of sine is cosine. e to the 2x comes in as is. And then 1 fifth sine of x, and then derivative of this is 2 e to the 2x. And then we look at this. We see here the coefficients of 2 fifths. Here it's a minus 2 fifths, so these go away. And then I'm left with 4 fifths plus 1 fifth cosine e to the 2x. That's going to give me just cosine x e to the 2x. And we notice that matches up with my original integrand. What you need to know is, is that 
final answer has e to the 2x cosine x and e to the 2x sine x in the final answer. And that's just a matter of figuring out how to get the coefficients. Here, we're just going to grind it out long way.